Hello everyone, my name is Christian and today we are going to use Power Query to automate the tracking of house utilities and their cost. We will extract the total value of different kind of utilities such as household bills, power consumption bills and gas consumption bills and we will put the expenses all together into one single Excel spreadsheet. You can download the materials I'm using from the link in the description and exercise simultaneously with me. Before we start working with utility bills, we need to organize them a little bit. So we need to make sure that each type of uh, invoice is put into a separate folder. For this video, I made up three types of invoices such as household bills, gas consumption bills, and power consumption bills. We are putting them into separate folders because each invoice might have different layout so by putting them into separate folders we make sure that when we are adding more invoices to that folder they will be cleaned up properly the first utility bill that we're going to handle is the household bill the information that we are going to extract will be the total amount the bill number which is also displayed in here and the month of our bill before we proceed to extracting the data, we need to make sure that our text is selectable. Otherwise, the Power Query tool won't be able to identify any data. To extract the data, we need to go to our Excel file, click on Data tab, Get Data from File, from Folder, and select our folder that contains the invoice. After a while, we'll get this window that will display all the files that have been identified. If you have other files with other formats such as Excel format or Microsoft format or document uh, format, they will also be displayed in here. But that might cause more trouble uh, for the Power Query tool to extract the data. So make sure that in folder with the invoices are only the invoices in the PDF format and are only the invoices that you need. Right now we are going to click on combine and transform data. After a while the navigator window will show up and in this window we can select the object that we want to extract from each file. In our case we have two objects. The first one is the table which is exactly the same table as in the invoice and the second object is the whole page where actually the, the whole text and data has been identified by the Power Query tool. We have also sample file tab where we can select which file we are going to use as a sample for cleaning the data. So for instance, if we choose the HB10724 file and we clean the data from it, the same steps will be applied for all the other uh, files from the same folder. If we choose the first file, that will mean that this is the HB10724. We will leave it like this and we can see that in the table object we have the total amount and fortunately we have also here the month of the invoice and we could get the name of the invoice uh, from the actual uh, name so that will save us some time when cleaning the information because if we are going to extract the whole page then there's a, a bigger job of cleaning the data and it might not be worth it so i will suggest that you name your invoices with the invoice number and you'll see later why so we are going to select the table object and click ok and now the power query editor will show up where we can clean the data Uh, we can see that for some reason on the total um, amount column our numbers are not properly displayed 
because here we have 22.10 and the number in the power core editor is 2210 so this is because of the automatic step that has been applied by the power query tool it has changed the type probably from text so if we delete this change type our values are back to normal and if we applied the change type again to a decimal number we gain the same problem this is because in my case the dot is not the decimal separator so what we need to do is to replace the dot with a comma because the comma is the decimal separator so right click replace values and then replace the dot with the comma and right now we can change the type to decimal number and everything is fine all right so we can see that the total amount for the first file is here and the total amount for the second file is in here um what we could do is to get somehow the month uh, from this column because the way i see getting the data we need is to filter actually the the table so for instance if we filter and remove all the null cells then we will get the the actual expenses but um because of that we won't be able to to get the total amount because the null value in the on this column is null and on the price unit here is actually our value what would i suggest doing is to raise this one by one position up and then we will filter all the positions from this column except from the position 10. so to do that we are going to create two index columns and you'll see why we go to add column index column uh, it's not like this index column and then create one index column from one and then create another index column from zero and now we need to go to home select combine and merge queries in the upper table we are going to select the index column that starts with one and in the second uh, table we are going to select the index column that starts with zero and then we click OK. And now a new column has been created. Uh, this column actually contains all the columns of our table. So if we click on this icon, we can see here are contained all the columns. But we will select only the column that we are going to lift up by one position. In our case, our column is total USD and we will click on this icon and select all the other columns except the total USD. So now we can see that the total amount is in the same row with the month. So right now we can filter this column and remove all the rows except the rows that contain value 10 because 10 is in line with the month and also with the total amount so we click ok so now here is our total amount and here is the month and we are going to delete all the other columns because we don't need them anymore remove column and also this one so because the the name of our invoice is actually the invoice number 
the Power Query editor is showing us the source name. So this way we have the invoice number, we have the month that we also uh, need to clean a little bit, and then we have the total amount. What we are going to do now is to extract the text that contains the month and the year. To do this, we need to go to add column, make sure that the column is uh, selected, and then click extract and select the text after the delimiter. So this means that we will extract the text that is placed after the delimiter. And in our case, our delimiter will be four and a space. So we type in four and a space and a new column has been created. Uh, but the problem is that we have also uh, another four before it. So what we are going to do is to click on this gear and we will change our step and we will write repairs four. So now the text after the repairs four has been uh, extracted and this is exactly what we needed. So now we are going to delete this column and then we are going to reorder them a little bit. We will rename this column to total amount. And this one uh, we will rename as month of expenses. And the source name we will rename as invoice number. So we need also to change the type of the column with the month because right now it is formatted as a text. You can see that the total amount is formatted as a decimal number, which is correct. But the, the column that contains the month is a text and that's not correct. So you could either right click and select change type and then change it to date or you could click on this um, square and then select date. So now the date has been formatted uh, correctly. Now it's just left to load the data. So we need to go to home and close and load. Now you can see that um, a new query has been created and the invoice number and month expense, the period and the total amount is displayed. And for instance, if you will uh, add another invoice to this folder, so we will go to another folder where I have prepared another invoice and we will go to household and then insert the new invoice and then we need to go to data and click refresh all and you can see the third invoice has been automatically cleaned and has been added to this small table that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope that you find the tutorial useful. Like and subscribe for more videos and see you next time.